So today on Fred Talks Fighting, we're lucky to be joined by amateur prospect Adam Matresh. I truly believe that Adam can take over the amateur game and to take over the professional game. Here's an interview with Adam Matresh. So it's great to see you again, Adam. Great to see you too, Fred. So obviously I know, but a lot of people watching this won't know about yourself and your boxing career so far. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It started when my old man brought me to do judo at the age of eight. When I turned 12, I took up mixed martial arts and I did that for a couple of years. The one that stood out for me the most was my striking. I was very good at boxing. And so when I turned 16, I joined Legends Boxing Club. And now currently I'm at Repton. So you've had three years at Legends and you decided to take it up again and go to Repton. That's right. What's it like boxing at Repton? A competition has, it's a huge step up. Uh, boys, best of the best, elite top boys. And you're sparring there? Yeah. Uh, going in as a full bouter, boys that's had over 30 bout, five bouts, 40 bouts. National champions. National so. champions. And going in there and winning rounds, it gives me confidence and motivation that I'll go, I'll go far with this boxing. When you speak of motivation there, is it hard to stay motivated since the coronavirus and the amateur fights are allowed to happen right now? Yes, definitely, most definitely. Uh, staying, staying grounded and keep on training, uh, although knowing that there's no fights ahead, it is very hard to stay. stay you've, got to stay, you've got to stay disciplined. That's, yeah, definitely. And so, for your amateur career, what do you aim to achieve in that? Uh, my first goal is to make it on the Team GB. And then, and then after you achieve those goals, what do you aim to achieve after that? To go pro? Definitely. My, my, my dream is to become world champion and turning pro is a step forward to achieve them. And so when you turn pro, what division will you be in? I'll be fighting at welterweight, 69 kg. Welterweight. So Josh Kelly, he was an exceptional amateur. He went, he boxed for Great Britain, he went to the Olympics, and now he's boxing in the matchroom, Eddie Hearn. That's right. And for the professional game, are there any fighters that inspire you? There is one that stands out. Lomachenko, way ahead of his game. Uh, his amateur pedigree, best, best of the best. He had 400 amateur fights. I think it was like 401. He yeah. lost that one, but he beat that. He rematched that kid and beat him. That's right, yeah. Two time Olympic gold medalist too. Three, three division champion. Yeah. And he's got a tough fight coming up against maybe his hardest fight of his career against Chofino Lopez. Yeah. Do you have a prediction for that fight? Um, Lopez, I think he's undefeated, but I don't think so. He's, he's met with someone like Lomachenko before. Uh, Lomachenko, I think Lopez is very powerful, but Lomachenko will be able to, to go around the and, and beat him. And you think Lomachenko wins on a decision? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think he'll, he'll, he'll go the distance, but Lomachenko will come out on top. Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell. I've been following Ryan Garcia for a long time. Uh, Luke Campbell, not so much, but he is English, so I'm probably going to have You're to... You're the GB route as well, yeah, same as you all. Yeah, and so I'll probably have to be... Uh, I'll have to go, I'll have to back Luke Campbell with that one. So moving up to the heavyweight division, you've got Usyk and Chisora. What's your prediction of that fight? I like Usyk. Yeah, he reminds me of Lomachenko. I mean, they're both from Ukraine. Uh, amazing pedigree in amateurs. Uh, so I think, you, I believe Usyk will win, definitely. He'll come out on top. All right, so thank you very much for your time, Adam. And I wish you good luck for your professional career. Thank you. Thank you, Fred.